In this video, we compare the vector graphics approach with the bitmap graphics approach, understand the advantages and disadvantages of each, and be aware of the appropriate use of each. Now, this video covers a comparison of these two common graphics formats. We've introduced both of these formats in more detail in previous videos. If you haven't seen them, go back and watch our videos on bitmaps and vector graphics first. So here we have quite a nice summary table. So let's look first of all at scalability. Well, vector graphics can be resized infinitely without losing quality because they are redrawn each time based on the maths. Whereas with a bitmap, we lose quality when resized because the pixels become visible. With vector graphics, we typically have a smaller size as they simply contain mathematical equations rather than pixel data. Bitmap graphics are often larger due to storing information about every pixel. Vector graphics are highly editable. Elements like color and shapes can be easily modified. But with bitmaps, each pixel can be edited individually. But complex edits, therefore, may require more advanced software and indeed editing skills. Vector graphics are less suitable for highly detailed images. Bitmap graphics are excellent for detailed images with complex color gradients. Vector graphics typically have limited color options and depths compared to bitmaps, whereas with bitmaps they can handle a wide range of colors, shades, hues and gradients. We typically use software like Adobe Illustrator, special dedicated software for editing vectors, whereas bitmaps can be edited by a much wider range of programs, including simple ones such as Microsoft Paint. So where should we use each one? Well, you probably know the answer by now. Bitmaps are best for storing full color complex images, such as photographs. Whereas vectors are much better for technical drawings, clip arts, cartoons, logos, and other images using simple shapes and fewer colors. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What are the advantages and disadvantages of vector and bitmap graphics? And what are appropriate uses of each image format? 